right, y'all, welcome back, welcome back to another video. Today we're here at a local pond to hopefully catch a catfish, bring them into the woods, and cook them. Now it's freezing cold. I don't know how the catfish are really gonna go today. They're not gonna move around too much. What's cool about this place is that there's a ton of a ton of little catfish in here. There used to be some pretty big ones, probably still is, but catfish we're going today. We want them about 12 inches. The smaller catfish, actually, the more tender it's gonna be, better tasting. We'll grab the hot dogs, we're gonna make this video fun today. We're fishing with like a little ultra light, like six pound test. It's gonna be a really good fight, even if it's six inch fish. Let's get freaking baited up and let's catch this catfish. I'll consider See down there some little red hots. I don't know why. Since I was a kid, everybody's used hot dogs in this pond. These little freaking catfish love it. So that's what we're fishing with. I'm gonna say this super quick too. Y'all seem to be enjoying all the survival videos. So we're gonna be doing more of those. It's kind of like what we're doing today, but we're bringing some fishing into it. And I haven't cooked the catfish on film yet. So, and a ton of really good comments of ideas. It's just, y'all just, just keep it up. Get our hot dogs out the bag. Went with the cheap guys. You don't need nothing, nothing fancy. I got our first piece, like I said, y'all, small catfish. We're not gonna use too big of a piece. Got us easy set up, a little bullet weight to a bear swivel, about 16 inches of 14 pound test. That should do it for us today. And a size two circle hook. And then we'll chow this guy out there. Oh, Mr. Catfish. Our line's tight, the drag's a little loose. Like I said, the catfish today, it's freezing cold as goes for any fish. They get very lethargic, not moving around too much, but they will still all eat. Just gotta be patient for them. The bite's gonna be very sensitive, so let's just pay attention. Hopefully we'll catch us a catfish. And we're not gonna be stingy with our bait. Might as well come over here and just chop up some little pieces. Get these catfish fired up. Here we go. Come get it, little catfish. It's freaking cold today, y'all. It's like 40, 45. It a bit, it a bit nipply. There's one, that fast, that fast. Come here, come here, come here. Y'all, I was on the freaking rod as fast as I could. How fast was freaking that? It was a very, very small bite. I don't think he's that big, which is perfect. Got him on this little six pound test, so I really don't know. Ah, uh, he could be a little bigger than what I thought. Where is he at, where is he at? Oh, we're screwed. Where are you going? Oh, don't go to the dog. I can't control him. I can't control him. All right, he might he might be a little bigger than what I thought. No, that's oh sh that's 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 the one we want. Perfect size catfish right here. Up so y'all can see him again. Ooh, actually he's a he's a tad big, but I think he's gonna do. He's probably about 13 inches. I can't bank flip this guy, so let's go walk him to the bank. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. If you guys don't know, I like tr truly love fish so much to where I'm not a big, not a big taker. I like to throw him back and catch him again, let them grow. You for sure won't see me doing a kitchen cook on a bass. I can't do that to my little babies. But a catfish will do, because we'll do some overnight camping, and it's probably what we'll get when we're out there. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. And that is a catfish landed. Looks popped out. All right, y'all, that's our first catfish. Perfect size is the young fish, but he's just, he's growing pretty quick. I could see Stuart, he's better on this side maybe. He still has his little black dots on him, so you could tell. This fish is about a year, two years. Perfect for our catch and cook today. Oh, I just, your boy just thought of something that's gonna hurt him. What the hell am I gonna put this fish in? Damn. All right, <laughs> looks like we're gonna be using the Walmart bag just to transport him, but let's keep this guy fresh and let's bring him to the pond. Thank you, catfish. Quick little background, this creek right here, y'all, is like a place where I freaking grew up. I don't know why we have a lot of creeks around us, but this one was always behind my neighborhood. When I say behind them, you gotta walk a good three to four miles to get back here, but it's just an untouched place, man. The creek's always been so nice. This is where I actually first discovered creek chubs and crawfish. It was just like, I don't know. I just love the woods. Oh, I forgot we got a catfish in our bag. All right, we gotta get to that. How you doing, bud? Just hanging out. If you guys are not seen the video where I survived by a creek, click the link right here, it'll take you right to it. Go ahead and watch that. We're gonna follow the kind of the same steps we did in that first video. If you guys did watch it, I appreciate it. Following the first step of like getting our stuff off the ground, finding our first location where it's dry, a good area to cook. I'm right by the water. I get to hear the waterfall. I freaking love it. Same type of video, but a little bit different. We're not really gonna be surviving out here today. I just figured let's just get us a bigger fish, take you guys back into the woods, kind of do our same little tradition and cook a catfish. I've never done it before on this channel, so. We got a location, let's start and clear our spot out and we'll jump to step two. In our first video, I went through my bag and kind of showed you what I had. 
Just because, like I said, it's not really a survival video. We're just kind of cooking some fish in the woods today. We brought out my old, oh, this is just such a good knife. This knife right here is very unique to me. It's just the way it was made and it's super, super sharp. I love the case. I'm gonna make it into the channel with like our survival videos. Just bring it along with us. It's just a really cool little knife. So we're using that to cut our fish up today. Don't freaking judge me. In our last video, we started the fire with some matches, and I used to have some really good flints. I just don't know what happened to them. I want to get a good one. All the ones they sell only Walmart and Dicks. They're just freaking. They're not. They're not good. We're gonna have to order one. We got our one thing that we'll always use in our videos. So today, I lost my freaking matches. Got us a little lighter, I know. This is a pretty good fish. I want to enjoy it, so I just put together a bunch of little seasonings in a bag. I wonder if I got pulled over the cops if they found this, like what they would have thought I was doing. It's just seasoning. Got us some Old Spice, pepper, salt, garlic powder. I think it's about it. Got I think it's about it, but we're spread this on the fish today. And yeah, y'all, that's, that's what we're rolling with in the video. I got nothing else. Floor is so freaking wet, so we're actually gonna take our bag and I'm gonna sit on that joker. All right, Joe, so what we just did right there is actually hung up our catfish. We're gonna snip the tail down there. And what that does, it actually pumps out the blood from the fish. Catfish have extremely white meat if you do this, so we don't want no blood in our meat. Want that thing perfect and white, so we're gonna snip the tail. I'm not gonna show that on camera, because the fish is good. It's how you really bleed the fish out, but yeah, let's get on it. Fish right now is actually draining. I really wish I could show you guys, but it's just like, uh, you can't with freaking YouTube, but it's, I'm looking at it right now. It's working so well. As soon as you cut the tail, it's just like, a, it's a pour. I mean, it just, it, and now it's starting to drip. I mean, it's been dripping for about five minutes, but at first it pours out mainly all the blood and then it just drips the rest out. Such a good method to get nothing but white meat in your fish. So now I'm moving pretty quick. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all the wood we're gonna need, get our two forks to cook our fish, and yeah, yeah, we'll go from there. Got us our two forks. The stick you're cooking your fish with, you want it to be green because the fire's gonna be pushing off some heat and you don't want the stick that you're cooking your fish with to break so if it's alive it actually holds heat a lot better. You not want your fish to fall off in the fire once you're done preparing it and you're just waiting to eat it. Let's go find our stick. There's actually one above this branch right here. Let's see if I can jump up and get it. Jumped up, grabbed that joker. You want it to slide through the fish extremely easy so I'm just kind of taking off all the bumps that we would not want on it. Break it about here, sharpen the ends. There we go. That's right here. Ooh. We're cooking some fish. Next step, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and run around and just collect all the what we're gonna need for this video. We're gonna make the fire a little bit bigger than the last time. We were bigger fish to cook, so let's go gather some wood. There's resources all around. I'm just looking at a ton of good wood. That's what, that's the cool thing about it. I can, I can even pick what type of wood I want to burn this. Do I want to smoke it with some red wood? Do I want to use some oak? There's all different choices. Let's go find them. Now we gotta clean our fish. I'm gonna clean it a little bit different this time. I'm gonna leave the skin, leave the head. We already cut the tail, I'm gonna gut the belly, take all this stuff out, and we're just gonna cook it like that. The skin on the catfish isn't that great, but I really don't have pliers. The way I wanna try to skin it off, it's super, super tough. But if we cook this fish good, hopefully at the end, I can just take the skin off and it will just peel right off, just like you would like a turkey. So that's what we're gonna roll with. So let's go ahead and skin our fish. We'll get them on our stick, start our fire. We're gonna be cooking some fish here shortly. I'll stay tuned. Talk about looking freaking good. The tail's cut. The belly's gutted out. We're gonna wash them off in the creek and get it on our stick. And we're gonna be eating shortly. All right, we're down here. Let's go ahead and take our stick. Looking good, looking good. I mean, be honest, that does not look bad, y'all. Unless it tastes really bad, I don't see how this video can go wrong. This might be our best catch and cook so far in this channel in the woods. Just grab some of our smaller pieces of wood. Let's get that crunched up. Let's give her a light. She's probably gonna get a little bit burnt during the process of getting the fire going. But that's all right, it's like my fish crispy. All right, y'all, we're getting somewhere now. Fire's building up a little bit, get some hot coals. It's a, it's a pretty big fish to be cooking them like this, but we gonna make it work. We're cooking our fish, it's going pretty good so far, I think. Trying to fight the smoke and talk to y'all. So for sure, this is gonna be a process. I mean, it's a big fish, we're gonna have to thoroughly cook them through getting the fire the way I want. It's a little challenging right now just because of the wind. So this is the part we get to hang out and talk. We're letting our fish cook. I'm gonna keep on stoking this fire. If you guys are not already following me on TikTok, I actually post a lot of like my daily content there. Like the last two days, been fighting a freaking case in my truck, y'all. If you're new to the channel, I built my dream truck. It's going good, guys. Everything's going pretty smooth. Replace everything. 
that was old on it, plus the lift, the tires. I don't know what's going on with it. It's like a, it's like a, a sway, like a death wobble. Not in the tires, it's in the front end. Not really sure what's going on with it. I think it has something to do with the pitman arms, like the sway bar. Just something's going on. If I go past like 45, the truck starts to starts to sway, and you try to correct it, and it, it gets pretty dangerous. So it's hard. I had to bring it to the shop to do that. Didn't have my truck for two days, but I think we got to figure it out now. I'm trying to get on a better posting schedule for you guys. I mean, I'm. I think two to three videos a week would be great. I got some big things coming up with the company for this winter's fishing and hopefully the next couple years working super hard and we're working things out. Fishing content is just around the corner. I love doing this stuff, but the passion is fishing, y'all. We got to get out there and catch some fish and getting hot. That's the fire we want. As my wood burns down, I'm just kind of restacking it right here next to me. The flame I need is too big. You let that burn down, the coals stay hot. Eventually we'll get a nice little solid pile of coals. It'd be nice to bring like a freaking pan out here. I just don't know if y'all want to see something like that. Like an actual like kitchen cook make it taste really good. Ooh, she cooking now. Evelyn trying to cook my fish. We got the back going right now. Kind of flipped it on the side. A lot of the meat in the catfish is going to be on the side of its tail. The belly is pretty good. There's a ton of good meat behind the dorsal fence. So we're going to get all of it. Just flip their sides, y'all. I'm trying to cook over here. Got my stick propped up. Oh, she's coming along. Just flip that puppy over, and now I'm roasting this side. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm actually getting pretty freaking hungry. This fish is taking a little longer than what I thought, but I'm truly really just trying to cook it all the way through. There's certain temps where, like, the fire is hot where I really need it to cook at, so just having to adjust. What's really unique, guys, is that I used a lot of oak for this video today. Of course, the smoke's burning off. I'm smelling that, but I actually smelt the fish pretty close up, and it's got like a, like a, like a, a smoke like hickory to it it's 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 nice i'm trying to like smoke the fish that's why i have it a little bit i don't know it's just i'm, I'm trying a little different ways right now this could be one of the best fish i've ever had cooked over a fire i'm really hoping here in the about next 20 minutes we should have some food peel the skin back get our seasoning and we'll be good thank you to my camera it just shut off but i just peeled back some of the skin y'all and it's looking it's looking pretty good I flipped it over. I let the side that I peeled the skin off cook a little bit longer. It's not looking half bad. As the other side's cooking, I'm gonna grab our little bag of seasoning here. Open that joker up. Fingers in there. I'm just gonna season that thing. All right, y'all. We're gonna dive in. Grab us a nice little chunk right here. Look at the steam roll off. That is a nice piece right there. We're we'll going for a first taste test. Ooh, it's hot. Yo. That is like not a bad piece at all. It's really freaking weird. It almost tastes like salmon. I'm not joking. See how the meat right here is a little bit darker? That tastes, it's got like a, like a smoked salmon taste to it. Ooh, this piece is hot. Smokes in my eye. Oh no, come on, it's okay, there's more, here we go. The season I put on is really nice. Yeah guys, it's so, it's so unique, it's like a, I never cooked a catfish like this. And it's so juicy, it's so moist. And I think so because when I lift the skin on them, it was making a boil, like not much was like dripping off going onto the fire when, when you when you cook most things. So it's like I kept the freaking juices inside the fish. It is not bad. <coughs> Season a little hot, good lord. Yeah, guys, I'm not joking. First ever catfish on a fire, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I really wish y'all could taste it. Smoke is freaking killing me. Put that fire out, I can't see. Ooh, that's a good piece right here. Just wish that y'all can just like feel how moist this is. It's dripping off my hand. I think that's the way to go, just to leave the skin on the fish. I mean, look at how moist that piece is. I didn't overcook it at all. I cook catfish a lot of different ways. I mean a lot. We fried them, grilled them. This is by far. I'm not saying it because I'm on freaking camera. And I'm cooking it and eating it. Don't, don't fall. This is by far one of the best ways I've ever had catfish. Just a complete different flavor. And so moist. Hey, look at it on my hand. Look at the juices coming out of it. Oh, that's such a good piece. Shoot, but we ain't done though. There's a lot more meat to eat on this fish, but I just want to flip around. We're going to check out the other side. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to peel back the skin on this side. Boy. 
gonna leave the skin attached there because we're just kind of holding up on this the stick. Look at all the juices. Oh no, I did not want to do that. All right, we need this in a little another reinforcement stick. Prop that joker just like that. I ain't lying. This is one of the best catfish I've ever cooked. Ooh, look at this piece. Going hands in. Ooh, it's hot. Look at how white and flaky the meat is. It literally looks like salmon. I have a ton of meat to eat on this catfish. I don't want to bore you guys, but once again, maybe you guys want to see me eat it. We can just sit here and just keep on talking. I brought a little conversation about my truck. You guys tell me what you want. I will make it happen. That's where this channel goes. Whatever you guys want to see, whatever you want me to do, unless it ain't stupid, I'm doing it for you. Really hope you enjoyed today's episode. I just had a blast. It's pro. Let's see what time it is. We're peaking 401. I've been out here for about three and a half hours the whole preparation catching our fish bringing them out here I do like the seasoning if y'all want to keep on let me use seasoning I would like to you guys to see me eat stuff raw but I mean the seasoning really helps it just brings the flavor out with the fish oh it's just I love you guys keep on showing me support hit that like and subscribe button like always till next time leave the comments I appreciate it guys Litton Bass TV